Jeb Bush is fighting against the charge that he is low energy, but it's hard to do that when your audience is even lower energy than you are. Let's watch. I will be a commander in chief that will have the back of the military. I won't trash talk. I won't be a divider in chief or an agitator in chief. I won't be out there blowharding, talking a big, big game without backing it up. I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. That, I'm almost going to cry. Give him a break. Oh, give, that, give him a break. <laughs> Come I on. Hear, I hear you. First of all, I, I can't even look at him anymore without thinking, oh, that's so sad. Because he has he's got the droopy shoulders. No, it's right? the arms. It's the There's awkward, nothing presidential. Like, okay, now now come on guys. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> and the I, message of I think we need to be quieter. No, that's literally I think what that he said. There are some ways that yeah, that maybe that would be a good thing, but like I'm gonna rouse people by saying we should be quiet as a country. <laughs> that was literally in the sentence before he begged for applause. He said, quote, I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter. Well, if you're asking everybody to be quiet, you shouldn't be surprised that they didn't break out in applause. Yeah. <laughs> right? and, and he says quieter, but send a signal that blah, blah, blah. It was basically like he sort of remembered speak softly but carry a big stick, but he couldn't remember the words, and so he came up with a horrible version of it. Uh, but that's why the word choice is so important. Now, I will say, I've watched this a bunch of times, and it's obviously funny, and people are going crazy about this, and I'm sure that Trump is going to talk about it at the debate on this weekend, but I don't think it's as bad. Maybe I'm just trying to give him a break. I don't think it's as bad as people have been saying. Like, yes, he didn't earn applause there, but the way he asked for it wasn't like, is anybody going to clap? And then they're like, Whatever. Like, they laughed and they were enjoying it. Like, they're his supporters and they, they thought it was funny that he had to ask. It's still sad, but it's not like, it's not the saddest thing I've ever seen. John, that was a Try spirit of a defense. Break. That was a spirit of defense, but. Yeah. Come on, give me a break. Give me a break, <laughs> give me a break right? I mean, when a guy says the word blowharden, Blow harden. It sounds like a Palinism, actually. Yeah. Now, I, I won't be blow harden out there. I'll be super quiet, okay? Now, Give me a break. <laughs> the problem was that he was too quiet, and it didn't have the intonation, the sort of rising swell of emotion and rhetoric that gets you to an applause line. They don't. You guys are supposed to clap for that. They didn't. <laughs> Great, thanks. Um, it just it didn't have that, and and this is. What <laughs> it's better. I feel I feel better. Um, and this is what we were talking about when we were talking about Rand Paul dropping out. He's not a good campaigner. He might be a good establishment Republican politician in terms of when he gets into office, getting what he wants done or whatever. I think people just give him a lot of credit because of his name. But it was never established that he knew how to get people to want to follow him and vote for him and volunteer for him. And that's why Jimmy Dore showed his headquarters in Iowa. And it was the saddest place in America. I'm just going to say two last things about this. One, I think uh, Florida Democrats are probably the most pathetic set of Democrats <laughs> I've ever seen. So they lost to this schlump. I mean, I could, with all the horrible, terrible, uh, like incendiary things that I have said on air, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I could be this guy with my hands t tied behind my back, right? Yeah. Come on, come on, right? I mean, I'm gonna go do a debate. Hey, Jim, come on, right? It's get, get. So, and then of course they lost to him. They lost to Rick Scott twice. Yeah. The Democrats of Florida are the most miserable party I've ever it's seen. It's a different thing, though. Last thing, stay on the two shot here. No, this guy's got to get out of the race. Look at him. Look at him, right? Just, I mean, that whole face of like, come on now. <laughs> Give me a break. Poor guy. Right? No, you got to go, man. You got to go. This is deeply, deeply embarrassing.